Oh, who remembers this from lockdown sessions? From the lockdown songs, look at this. God bless John Pride, the lonesome friends of science. I'm just out stretching the legs on the Africa Twin again. Ready for the big day. I'm gonna head up to um, my dad's in Liverpool just for a cup of tea before we're coming back home. Just to give the Africa Twin a good run and to also give this new lid a proper run. See how we go on today. It's gonna be about four or five hours out and uh, I wanna test, yeah, I wanna test it properly with the pin lock and everything. It's, yeah, four degrees I think. And it's, uh, as you can see, not great, a little bit damp. By now, my X4 would already be steaming, so I want to be able to end this video being happy. Trying out a few things today, actually. One, stretching the legs of the Africa Twin again. Two, the lid, because I've fully kitted it all out now. So the uh, Cardo's connected, the camera and new mic all connected, and also I've got a new device as you can see, Apple CarPlay is now playing on this. And I've got no phone plugged in. Aha! The reason I've not bothered with the CarPlay on this one is because I hate, or hated having to have my phone plugged in. And then like on a tank bag or whatever, you're constantly like messing about with your phone. And I don't want to. When I'm on, it, when I'm on the bike, I don't want to mess about with my phone. I want to have it in my pocket, forget about it. Apart from taking photos. Anyway, a, a good friend of mine gave me this bloody great idea of a uh, wireless CarPlay dongle. And he, he bought his probably about a year ago, I think, actually. And I've held off and held off and held off. Because it's 50 quid, you want to make sure it's right, don't you? So I've kind of been dropping into him every now and then. You've still got that dongle. Is it still working properly? Has it let you down? And he's been, nope. He's been solid. No, it's perfect. So I bit the bullet. Ordered one of Amazon, it's there look. So it's connected and it will stay connected to the data port of the Africa Twin. It's fixed with some 3M tape, so it won't shift, doesn't weigh anything anyway. Even to the point that it felt like the box was empty when it arrived. Got a bit of 3M tape, stuck it to the little... Actually, it's almost like a perfect place for it on this side. And for all those that have asked, is it waterproof? Well, it doesn't say anything about it being waterproof, but the unit is completely sealed and it's rubberized, so I can't see how it could be possible for any water to get in there. So we'll see, won't we? But I am almost 100% convinced it's waterproof. And it is available for Android as well. So Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, there will be links to both units. They're both identical, just got the different, I guess the different software inside and the different logo, one for CarPlay, one for Android Auto. But I'm very pleased about that because I've always missed having Apple CarPlay on here because I love it. You've got everything. Oops. So, there you go. So you've got all your maps and your full Apple CarPlay as you would. It just looks really nice. So yeah, I'm very pleased about that. I think there's quite a few devices on the market now actually to get CarPlay you know, CarPlay screens. I did actually have a company ask me to um, review one of their units. I just never chased it up. It looks good though. And it is very cool when you can have a screen like that on your bike. I've just got my Spotify playing at the moment. Yeah, so the lid is all ready and raring to go. Fully kitted out. I've just got, uh, well I say ready and raring to go. I've still got uh, waiting for some cable clips, cable tidies to turn up. I don't like these cables dangling, but I ordered some and they turned up and they were not 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 the right ones. They were too big and ugly, and I don't want that. I want them to be inconspicuous. We will be talking a little bit during this video about the upcoming winter trip. But yeah, as I say, today's run up to my dad's to see the folks and uh, yeah, just to give everything a run. Really, I've got a mammoth trip to plan, folks. A mammoth trip. I don't want to tell you where yet until I'm 100% sure. I mean, that's the only reason I'm not telling you yet because if I can make it work, I will. But I'm still just uh, tying a few things up logistics wise and uh, but yeah, kitted the lid out. So I have done exactly the same with this lid as I did with my other lid, with my X4. Always get people asking me, where did I get my mount from for the camera? Well, I made it myself. 
So I got a um, a generic GoPro mount and chopped the top off it, chopped the bottom off it, filed it all and I also chopped away the back of it to make it sit nice on the lid and then um, I used some Sugru, black Sugru. If you're not familiar with it, it's bloody brilliant stuff. Once you get it into place and you've installed the mount itself, you can smooth it all off. You can I masked all the lid off so I didn't get any mess anywhere. And then smoothed it all as I did it. So the mount itself and underneath the mount is completely full of Sugru, pushed into the lid. Once it's there, once it's in place, leave it alone for 24 hours. Leave it in a warm room and leave it for 24 hours, don't even touch it. So after 24 hours, I then put the GoPro, uh, you know, the actual mount itself that clicks into the housing, if you like. And today is the first time I've connected the GoPro to it. I also opted for the same mic that I use in my X4, which is a uh, Royd Lav Go, about 50 quid, I think. And I've got to say the install and the feel of this helmet now, I can't feel the mic, I can't feel any of the cables, I can't feel the speakers, everything so far is perfect. I've been glued to my root app MRA for the last week, all day, all night. I've not been going to bed before one o'clock. Planning the routes, making the works route on a day-to-day -day basis, lining up hotels as i said if i can make it work it's going to be a belter three degrees i knew it had dropped that's human shank i did not stand in that you dirty boy you gotta go you gotta go Let's see what happens now with the uh the old thingy when i take a photo okay that stays on It's not shifted, has it? See, that's the other good thing about this. I wasn't sure that was going to work there. So for me to pull up, get my phone out, unlock my phone, and take a photo with it, and it's still not disconnected from Apple CarPlay. Real. That's a winner for me, that is. Got these babies back on, though. I can tell I've just unplugged them. I'm fully connected today. I've got my gloves, jacket, and socks on. Ice, 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 ice. Nothing like seeing a bit of ice to uh, make your bum twitch a bit. Temperature, three degrees. How you doing? Not bad, a good journey. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Nice and warm with all this lot on. <laughs> Gloves on, jacket on, socks on. So I'm red, red hot. <laughs> My head's a bit cold, but apart from that. Right. All right, take it easy. I'll see you soon. You will. For another cup of tea. <laughs> I will do. Take it steady. I will. Right, see you soon. See you in a bit. Well, that were nice and completely um, random just to ride all the way up here just for a cup of tea or two cups of tea. Well, I've got to say this Apple CarPlay thing works flawlessly. You don't have to mess about opening your phone or doing anything when you turn the ignition on. It's literally just phones in my pocket, put your keys in your ignition, turn the ignition on and by the time your bike's done its like initialization stuff with the dash and stuff, it's on. So it's brilliant. I'm very very pleased with that. I love everything about the sat nav. Love the screen now we've got a CarPlay working. That device there look. Dead nice and tiny. You'll never need to unplug it. Just leave it there. Hopefully no one will pinch it, but like I say, stick it with a 3M tape and um, 
you can't really move it anyway it's solid love the lid very very happy with that visor down it's gonna probably get slippy up here one degree be careful up here Yep, slipping. It will be ice again. It's uh, a bit dodgy up here, folks. I'm very, very, very grateful for my heated clothing at this moment in time. It looks really cool in the rear view mirror. Really moody. You can see how bad this visibility is because you know that the lights on this bike are incredible. And even though I can see well with the lights on, you can only see uh, a little bit in front of you. You've just got to be careful for surface eyes. That's a bit clearer down here. That was quite rough up there. Well, as we're coming to the end of this uh, 200 odd mile cup of tea, four and a half hours in um, from four degrees down to one degree. Happy to report this helmet has not misbehaved one time. The visor, I mean. All right, thanks for watching, team. We're on the home stretch now, so I will see you on another one sometime very soon. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Do click the notification bell so you don't miss videos. People have been missing videos and having to search for them. If you click the notification bell, YouTube or Google will let you know every single time I upload a video. You'll get an email through and you'll not miss one. So do click the subscribe and click the notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Be good, be careful, be kind. I'm going to go home and get myself warmed up.